वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 3.22 एंड दिस इज चैप्टर 3 रिलेटेड टू द रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशंस सो द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज थ्री कार्ड्स आर ड्रॉन इन सक्सेशन फ्रॉम अ डेक विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट ओके सो फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर द नंबर ऑफ स्पेड्स ओके सो हियर वी हैव टू सी दैट द प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर द थ्री स्पेड्स ओके सो द गिवन डाटा हियर इज in given data we have to make some suppositions as well here let me take this n for no no spade okay and as for the spade okay what we have here we will have to bring out three cards so three cards we will have okay so in these three cards we can either have zero spade okay we can either have one spade two spades or at most three spades okay so we have to find the probability of each of the spade here as you know that we have here these are the number of spades in three terms okay so let me solve it first and in first turn where we have the probability of spade equal to 0 what can be the options here we can have here the event where all of the three items here are non spade so it would be n n n okay so here if the three items are non spade what it can be it will be all the items in the first will be the 39 because the total number of items here are 52 and out of these 52 13 are spades okay while 39 are non spade okay you can see that here we have if we don't have any spade in the first turn therefore the total number of items in the first turn i have to pick are 39 out of the total which are 52 okay so this will be the first turn if one non spade item has been selected out of it how many remaining non spade will be here we will have here 34 38 non spade and the total items here are 51 because here we have the without replacement sampling okay so here we will have this one and in the third item what we will have here now two items have been selected from 39 so here we will have 37 and out of the 50 we have here okay so this is the overall probabilities of what we have to find out so these have to be multiplied together and when i will multiply them together what i will get here i will get 703 divided by 1700 okay so this is what this is for s equal to 0 similarly for the probability of s equal to 1 where we have only one spade so what are the options i have so the number of options i will have would be either the first item will be spade while the other two will be non spade okay this is the first one sorry this is the first one second one would be the second item is spade while the first and the third one are non spade and the third one is the first two items are non spade while the third one is spade so this is what this is for the probabilities it has okay so now what do we have to do here in order to do so again using the same terms like here it will be s and n okay or we have here the probability of n s n okay or here i will have probability of c n n s okay so this is what we have now in order to find the probability of them we can see that these three are independent of each other so therefore writing their probabilities so the probability of getting one spade or the first one spade is will be what it will be the 13 out of the 
52 okay so it will be what it would be the 13 out of the 52 are the pairs okay now when we will get it what will we get here multiplying this one well let me identify it it will be here now after it the other one is n so this n is from the non spared so as one non one spared has been selected so the total item remaining are 51 while the non spared are still the same because none of the non spared has been selected so it is it will be here okay so this one is for here okay and the last term here is again non spared so therefore as one spared non spared has been selected so 38 are here and 50 are the total one which are the remaining here okay so you can see that the other ones will also be like the ones we have got here but in the multiplicative term these will be somehow in different order but these will be the same item so therefore what i have to do here i have to multiply with them three as well okay you can see that here for the first item you will get this one for the second you will get this one and for the third one you will get this one okay for this one the first two will be the 39 and 38 terms while for the last term you will have this one okay that's why i have added them all together and uh, put it here this three okay so now by combining them all what i will get here you he, hear the answer of it will be 741 divided by the 1700 okay this is for the probability of s equal to 1 okay now similarly let me go down somehow okay and here in order to find the probability that s equal to 2 what will be the options here here the options would be the probability that either the first two are spared and the last one is non spared okay and the second one here is the first one is the non spared while the last two are spared okay and the last one here is the mid one is the non spared while the others are spared okay so this is what we have the probabilities now in order to do so what do we have to do here again the probability of s s and okay or the probability of n s s or the probability of s n s okay now putting their values here the probability of s s n so probability of s1 then probability of s2 and then probability of n and similar will happen for them as well so therefore i will put here three as well so for the probability of first pair what i will have here i will have 13 divided by 52 because the total number of spades here if one spade has been selected so the number of spades remain here would be 12 while the total number of items will be decreased to 51 and the last non spared as none of them is the non spared here selected so therefore the non spared will remain the same and it will be 39 while the total number of items are reduced to 50 okay and similar will happen for them as well because you can see that the options here we have are the two spares and one non spared so similar is for here so therefore i have to put here three and uh, this is what you can see yourself as well that when you will do it for the same um, items here you will get the same answer and therefore i am putting here this three so uh, after multiplying them together what will be the answer of it here the answer of it will be 234 divided by 1700 okay so this is for probability that s equal to 2 okay now let me move down somehow more and for it the three spades okay so the probability that we have spades equal to three so it would be what it is only the item where we have spades 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 okay so this is what we have now let me put their values here the probability of spade one 
multiplied by the probability of spade 2 and multiplied by the probability of spade 3, 3 spades. So now when one spade is selected out of the 13, so here are the probability of it is 13 divided by 52 multiplying it with the probability of spade 2 when one is selected so it will be 12 divided by 51 and the third spade is out of the same spade so therefore it will be 11 by 50 okay so what will be the answer the answer of it will be 22 divided by 17 okay so this is for the spade equal to 3 so these are all the options we had here and from it we have found out all the ways from which we can get it okay so now let me plot them here and in plotting them what i have to do here let me write their values okay so in writing their values let me use it here and here let me use them with green so this is x this is f of x which is the probability and uh, let me write their values so the first value of x or spade is 0 the second one is 1 then 2 then 3 okay so these are all the values it has so this is the values of x now putting their values the probability that spade is 0 that is given here that is 703 by 1700 okay that is already given for spade equal to 1 that is 741 divided by 1700 for two spades this is 234 by 1700 okay and the last one for three spades was 22 divided by 1700 okay so once you will add them all together you can see that when you will add them all together like 703 divided by 1700 plus 741 divided by 1700 plus 234 divided by 1700 plus 22 divided by 1700 so it will be what this would be the 1700 and 703 plus 741 this is uh, 1444 so 1444 uh, plus 22 so that is 1466 1466 plus uh, 234 that would be 1700 and you will see that these will cancel out and ultimately you will get one which is what which is the condition for any probability distribution that when you add all the probabilities in it what will be the answer it will be equal to 1 okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the probability distribution for all, one of the problem of the probability if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon